A little while ago, I made a video on this cool thing here, this little crawler. It's a, I think it was a 143 scale, super impressive. And I'd say it was probably the best like micro release of 2023. The video did really well. And a couple of videos on Facebook also did really well. Well, I think the reason this one did well wasn't because of the little crawler. It was because there was so many people telling me how bad my car is. Anyway, a little while after them videos, LDARC um, contacted me. That's who make this. They said, we've got a brand new little micro racer coming out. Would you like to test it? And because of how impressed I was with this, it was a no brainer really. Of course I wanted to try it. But they didn't just send me one. They sent me the full fleet, including a posh one. Oh, and a, um, a mini monster truck, another mini monster truck, some mini ramps, a load of barriers for a track, and also a giant track as well. I wonder if they'd sent me all this if the video didn't do very well. I'll get them all out of the box in a minute, but this is the little car. Well, van. Definitely based on a Volkswagen. I love the flared arches. A couple of surfboards on the top. Uh, we'll have a closer look in a minute, but that's the car. And it comes with the same radio as that mini crawler. So many functions on here. Runs off a rechargeable battery, so you can charge it via USB-C. And I've already opened a box here, but we'll open a normal box first, and then I'll show you this. I don't know if it's called a pro version or I don't know, but this is like the top one. I think you can buy it as just the car and then you can bind it to your own radio if you've got the right protocol um, or you can buy it as a ready to run like that. There's a load of the functions you can see on the back there. Ready to run, 80 minutes runtime, voltage alarm, beginner mode. So you've got low, medium, high speed, metal gears and then some specs there. Sticker sheet, which one shall I put on the fridge? I think I'm gonna put that one on the fridge. One on the toolbox. Are you on me toolbox? I'm running out of space. So sticker sheet comes with some little barriers. Is there some little flags and stuff in there? I presume this is what you get on all of them. Set of instructions, little card to show you your training, spare body, and then your little um, fixings and stuff under there. USB-C charger, that really cool remote. And then the little car. They come really well presented in this little like display case. Some more stickers and they look like sort of water transfers. And then just a little like quick start for binding and charging. I guess if you buy this as an individual car rather than the ready to run, um, it will tell you there how to bind it to your remote. Great presentation. Very nice. Nice little touch there. I love the styling, looks good. Right, what do the others look like? Oh, I forgot to show you this as well, look. That under there. Little screwdriver to take it out. See, and a little card to say that it's been quality checked. There is your full fleet. Which one's your favorite? I think a lot of people are gonna choose that because it's the golf livery, isn't it? I like this one. I think, is it called monochrome? That kind of color, like a dark gray and white. I mean, they all look pretty cool, but for me, mm, that one. Or that one, I think that one. So it's 164 scale, rear wheel drive, fully proportional. Proportional means the more you turn the steering, the more the wheels will turn, rather than just like all the way one way or all the way the other. Tiny little motor within there. There's a little bit of suspension there. Not a lot, I can't imagine it's gonna make much difference, but it has got some suspension. It's got lights on it as well, I'll show you them in a minute, but. Shall we have a look in the posh one, see what the difference is? I don't think there's any difference with the car and stuff. I think it's just a display case and maybe a few extras. Not just a display case, look, it's got space for your tools. That feels very plush. Zip pocket there as well. And then, yeah, instructions, stickers, stuff. Oh, oh, very nice. I guess these are different wheels for your transmitter. You got quite a big wheel there with like an off-road grippy tread, and then you got a little foam wheel. That is a nice little touch, that. Uh, and you get a painted shell, a plain one you can detail yourself, and then you get the full one. In this case, it's the orange and blue. I think you can choose which one you get in here, and it's all separate in there for carrying it around. Don't know how much that is compared to just like the normal, compared to just like the normal boxed ones. I'll put it on the screen, the difference. But I like that, that is nice. Got loads of these, there's one in each pack. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six extras. Right, while we wait for one to charge, let's get this mat out. So you get three different sizes. This is the biggest one. So that's the biggest one. Sent me the small one as well. I've already set this one up in my house. Uh, it's a bit small, this one. Came with like some 
sticky foam that you can put around the edges to stop you going off the edge. Really cool idea. But yeah, that one's a little bit small. I mean, you can, you can do some laps on that, but it's a bit small. They do a medium one and then they do this one, which is the biggest. I better be careful opening it. I don't want to damage the mat. <laughs> <laughs> this feels really good quality. I can't imagine this one's going to be cheap. It's really heavy as well. Wow. Yes, look at the size of that thing. That is a massive track. How cool is that? Feels really good quality. Loads of detail on it. So this does come with this like foam barrier. So we put some of that on and then we'll get a load of the barriers and stuff that came with it. And let's set this track up. There we go, it's all finished. It took way longer than I anticipated. But how cool does that look with all the barriers up? I've used a little bit of double-sided like 3M tape just to take the ends, just to keep them all secure. But how good does that look? So cool. So before I throw some laps in, and we'll just have a quick look at this now, it's powered on. Different colored lights underneath, you can change them just by pressing, just by pressing that button there. One of these ones. Yeah, that's your lights on fully. So you've got three throttle speeds. If that's white, that's normal. Push it up, high speed. Go back to middle, then down to green. That's your slower speed. And then your fully proportional steering. Look at how smooth that is. And we've got three, um, three angles for steering. Normal, red is a little bit more, and then green is a little bit less. It doesn't make a huge amount of difference, but when you're racing around the track, I'm sure it will anyway. Let's give this thing a go. I'm going to get some laps in, get it dialed in, and then my lad's down for a few days. If we get time, because we're away for a bit, if we get time, we'll have a race. Whoa. Let's turn that steering down. load of fun these things are definitely going to be more fun with like two of you or a, or a load of you i mean doing hot laps and stuff on your own is okay but if you're on a track with someone else racing it's just a completely different experience me and my lad had loads of fun and obviously dad won but with every lap he was getting better so i reckon an hour or so and he'd have been definitely right on my tail but unfortunately he had a train to catch so he didn't get a chance to beat me which is probably fortunate for me anyway good fun and once you get used to them they handle all right. The setting I put them at was the uh, medium speed and then the steering on the lowest setting. And that seemed to work pretty well. Now you don't have to have one of them tracks. These things run fine on like short pile carpet and on a smooth surface like a wooden floor um, or even a nice polished concrete would probably be all right. It does have rubber tires. What I will say though is if you've got anyone in your family with long hair or pets, 
Um, I was running this one around my house. My daughter's got really long hair and it didn't take long for, I think it was just like one or maybe two strands of hair. Got stuck on that rear axle and I had to take the whole thing apart to free it off. It's a bit fiddly, but it all went back together fine. It works perfectly. So just something to be aware of. Anyway, that is the LDARC V64. I definitely need to try and sort out a race with how many have I got? Five, five of these. That'll be carnage on that track. 